do they have, like, decapitated poppy dolls in their hands? It has nothing to do with her pulling any strings. Playtime Co. or Mob Games actually misspelled disappeared? Hey everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome back to Think Reacts. Where today we're reacting to another game theory video about Poppy Playtime. Now, uh, lately I've been sort of a little bit disagreeing with their theories based on the things that I know in the games that I play, but I can already tell by the title, I kind of already agree with this one without even having to watch it, because I felt that for a long time. Now, game theory does have a history with Poppy Playtime in that. They said that Huggy Wuggy was still alive. And you guys tried to convince me of that for so long that I even made a video on it that I believed maybe they were right. But we found out in chapter three they were wrong. It was just a theory. Hey, full scheme theory. <laughs> anyway, let's check this one out. When and, I say uh, that whoa, I've read wow, that every really book from fast. every major indie horror franchise, okay. I really do mean it. Bendy, been there. Hello, <laughs> neighbor. Done that. Okay. Steph, Forget about it. But I'm with Naf not sure. getting another book until September, I was excited to finally give my dyslexic brain a rest. But of until. course, there was one franchise that refused to let that happen. One that knew I wouldn't be able to resist the law hidden within its pages. Okay. So let's see what Poppy Playtime's orientation oh, notebook yeah, has to I offer. Yeah, I did see we? that. I didn't I didn't get it. So I'm, I'm glad he's covering Internet. it because I didn't Welcome actually see it myself. Welcome to Game Theory, the show cool that logo. always reads the manual. You never know what cool stuff you're going to find. Unless, of course, the company behind the book explicitly tells you over and over again, <laughs> then it's pretty obvious. Why are there just... the wait, wait. in these pages, and maybe you can unravel the mystery of Playtime Co. I'm so wait, 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 just real quick, <laughs> that, that little animation there, with like... <laughs> the book explicitly tells you over and over again. Why do they have, like, decapitated poppy dolls in their hands? Couldn't you hold the doll? You just gotta cold hold her head, huh? Or come out with a book, given that immediately after... Kinda surprised in these pages, and maybe you can unravel the mystery of Playtime Co. I'm actually right, no. kind of surprised it took this long for Poppy to come out with a book. I'm given surprised it came out with one at all. after chapter one, they announced they'd already partnered yeah. with someone to make a <laughs> movie, movie, which yep. seems to have fallen through, and now we're back No, but it's back studio. on. But here yeah, we are, okay. two and a half years later, and we're just getting our first ever Poppy And book. by the way, However, that's like, basically, <laughs> if you look at my thumbnail for Poppy Playtime chapter one, I mean, I know they took it from their game, but that is the, like exact lighting on the thumbnail that I have uh, of you know who chasing us in the vents. Uh, However, yeah. this book isn't like your FNAF YA novels. Okay. Instead Ooh, of unique yeah, stories with canonicity that the fan base can never agree on, this is an in-universe orientation book handed out by Playtime Co. to its employees. So it's more like the survival logbook, because we can never truly escape the FNAF connection, can we? But no. there are some key differences. Okay. Rather than having a bunch of puzzles and cryptic clues with multiple authors, the Poppy Orientation Notebook does keep things simple. Oh, I wish we I got this! We have one author who is leaving notes throughout the book to give us the inside scoop on some of the details we've been missing from the games. Like, why the water treatment facility acts like a puzzle to solve rather than an actual usable water right. treatment facility. Because that was the law that we were so desperate to solve. Right. There's actually a yeah. lot of details like that in this book, but okay. that's not why you're here. You're here right. for the deep the yeah, stuff that will change your perspective on this franchise going forward. And okay. don't worry, this book absolutely delivers on that. Mm. Thanks to this book, I feel more confident than ever in not only who our player character is, but also what the deal is with one of this franchise's most confusing characters. Okay. See, I told you reading the manual would be fun. And it all begins with that first page. Okay. On it, we're introduced to another new character, P.W. Mm. I tell you, this franchise really does love to name drop random human characters, yeah, doesn't right. it? The yeah. book even calls this out, questioning whether a character whose name we've only ever seen on one note is even real. So, at least they're self-aware, I guess? It anyway, PW exist, though, is our guide throughout this book, and okay. they have been hired for a very specific reason. And they are that? a biologist. Uh, and while they may not be immediately sure why they've been hired by a toy factory, we know exactly why they're there, and why they are the <laughs> Bigger bodies. perfect person to guide us through the mysteries of this factory. They've been hired to work on the Bigger Bodies Initiative, yep. orphans okay. turned into giant <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, that's now, what I'm here for? Oh yeah, I remember this one. Quite dry. I mean, we've heard their report. 
thoughts and previous chapters on the VHS tapes. But in this case, you could not be more wrong. The sass okay. is absolutely dripping from these pages, <laughs> and I am here for it. They talk about how shady Leith Pierre is, how Stella Graeber is weird, and they continuously <laughs> mock the company for their spin on what are actually just complete failures like the Smiling Critters. Turns out, PW might be the most normal and sane character we've ever had in an indie horror game. Wow, However, there's as funny so, as my, is, like, so many notes and details. Craft, and are that, those him leaving them? We actually past all of the sarcastic notes and instead okay. go to the end of the book. Well, I was, in the I back, was PW about them, but... stuck their own personal calendar full Ooh, of little details about their schedule. That. One of those details stood out to me immediately. New orphan because it's a date evaluation. that we've seen in this franchise <laughs> once. Safety before. seminars cancelled! On June 28th, we <laughs> get a simple note that says, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. Not only is this the same birthday as Markiplier, but it's what? also the date that we heard thrown out by a Bunzo bunny cutout during chapter two. Wait, why not me? Oh, we heard that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, why do, why do they... You just... you. <laughs> Just have a nap. I want to speak to the manager of this establishment. Better breach of privacy. Wee. At the time, we all just shrugged this mm -hmm. off as a little joke to get exactly the reaction we saw from Mark. Right. But then here it is again in this new book. And that's not all. In this book, we well, also get I mean, a breakdown of pretty much then, every yeah. character we've encountered so Whoa, far. From even Playtime's the perspective, critters. of course. And Bunzo Bunny's entry has this interesting detail assigned to it. Quote, oh, this Bunzo toy is equipped when the ability is. to remember up to eight birthdays ah. and deliver greetings on the day itself. Kids love to free Freak out their family and friends when Bunzo tells them when their birthday is. Bunzo's one and huh. only Trick. purpose is there you to go. recite birthdays, which makes me think that June 28th wasn't just a random birthday thrown out for the memes, but instead was there to freak out the player character by reciting their actual birthday. Right, the which same is the person who wrote the book. As PW. And we are playing we as PW, are yeah. Playing. That's as what I was going to say. Yep. Now, that might seem like a bit of a stretch, but this is not the only it's not time at cutouts all. have hinted at our player's identity. In Chapter 3, we encountered cutouts of each of the smiling critters. Yes. To start with, they all seem relatively harmless, introducing their basic character traits, as well as sure. some disturbing screams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> But it's Bubba Bubba Funts that caught my attention. Because he always remembers he's going to expose us. And it's I remember it. Direct. I'm Bubba Bubba Funts. I remember him wanting to expose I me. I you. Yeah. An elephant always remembers. Uh -huh. Want to know what I remember about you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is that We're bad. We're being told the smiling critters remember us. And that we did something horrible to them. Yep. This isn't anything especially new for our player character. Both Mummy Longlegs and Mr. Light have recognized us and referenced the fact that we worked for Playtime Code. For a long yeah, time, but we did we do that the we, terrible in things? Some way, like, we're I mean, involved in the experiments. But the or, orientation yeah, handbook not the only seems to confirm that idea, but also puts PW in the exact same position. In the book, PW notes that they are very careful about not letting employees outside the play care and the game station talk to the orphans. Okay. So it's not just any old employee that gets to go the and talk to these ones. orphans or have a meeting yeah. with Mummy Longlegs. <laughs> you have to be involved in some way as a mm -hmm. counselor or a shopkeep or a scientist, just like PW and just like we saw in the VHS tape from chapter three. This week, Dr. White what? here has selected our very I never own looked that Samuel close. Lee. We even see a note Whoa. in PW's calendar on February 1st that says new orphans arrive at Playcare, being told to go and say hello to them. Uh, yeah, that so would he gets allow to talk characters to them. like yep. Mr. Light and Mummy Longlegs to know exactly who PW is, right. just like yep. they seem to know who but the she player wasn't Mr. Light character is. It doesn't back end then, there, was though, she? because the reports in the books I mean, specifically well, I she was, call she out that PW corrupted. was involved in the Smiling Critters experiments. There's reports about Bobby Bear hugging Catnap, both included by PW. Themselves. Notice the uh, tape yeah, that's holding them into the book. That's why okay. Bubba Bubbafant remembers the player and associates them with those horrible, painful screams. Because the player oh, is wow. PW, we one suck. of the scientists that turned them into monsters. Then why now, would we go back? For yourself, you might notice that PW's entry I've been persuaded to stay. the hour of joy, August 8th, 1995. New place, the yeah. time where what, the toys rebelled think? and took over the factory. Pretty sure all sight. humans so either got out PW or died. died along so. with everyone else. However, clearly people escaped. Leif Pierre, one of the big executives for Playtime Co., gives yeah. a speech to his newly formed resource extraction team at the start of Project Playtime. That's true. A game that takes he place does get out. Or maybe he was never there to begin with. But maybe he took the day off. that PW also survived because they refer to the incident as oh, well as the extraction yeah. team's creation. That, yep, that yep. incident was the hour of joy, and so PW yep. wouldn't be able to write about it if they Unless had died during it. it. Meaning yep. PW okay. isn't necessarily writing this book in a linear wait. fashion, but more importantly, they are still alive. And okay, wait, hold on. So, 
<laughs> when are we getting to the part where the title of the video is? This is all about who the character is, which, uh, interesting. Um, when do we get the part about Poppy? We're like almost halfway through here and it has nothing to do with her pulling any strings. Right? Be free to return to the factory years later. Oh, and speaking of executives like Leith okay. Pierre, I should yeah. probably mention that executive slide that we've referenced a number of times from chapter two. Okay. The one with the names of all the executives yeah, on it. But there's that, that one that we never were able to put together. Of letters on the yeah. floor. This handbook actually lists out all the executives okay. for the company. Oh, we're we gonna finally none find of it. Them match the name on the floor. No! Even Jimmy <laughs> Roth, the guy that came up with the name for Huggy, is revealed to be an exec, and he would make well, so figured. much more sense to be the final but name on the end of that list. There. And yet the letter still don't match. For a long time, we suspected that this might be used to reveal the player character's name. But with all this evidence from PW and Can't the be. lack of an exec that fits those letters, I'm just starting to think that this might have been a red herring or a clue that isn't going to pay off. Which Why sucks. is it showing Kevin James? We've got to work with the more solid evidence we <laughs> is have. Because he's a mall cop? Like the like... insights that we get into PW's feelings towards the company that would seem to align them very closely with the player. Remember that case report I mentioned about catnap escaping Containment. That was yeah. written by PW right. themselves. And in it, okay. we see that they are horrified by the carelessness that led to the deaths of six Mental colleagues. Six they try to appeal to lives, the company yeah. for improvement and leave us with these words. Quote, remember those names. They were people, not things. People. I won't see another teammate die. Whoa. PW cares about their teammates, their co-workers. Wait, page 125. How long is this book? They don't have to. So what do you think they would do if they suddenly got a note telling them their colleagues were alive? And hidden that, inside wait, the wait, 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 wait. They would Hold do on, just real quick. Got an that's not how you spell. Wait, did, did. That's not how you spell disappeared. What? Is that how it really was? They did. Playtime Co. or, or Mob Games actually misspelled disappeared? That drives me crazy. Fix it. No, telling ah. them their colleagues were alive and hidden inside the factory. I have a feeling they would do anything they could to save them. PW knew of the monsters that were still there after all. They had some sins to atone for. And they do feel guilty over those experiments. In the calendar, we see May 15th booked for surgery. But the day after, they book a full day in one of the portal port lounges. Port which lounges the orientation port notebook potty? tells us are for, quote, mental okay. health breaks. And PW remarks that they use these things pretty regularly. They didn't mm. like what they were doing and needed a whole yeah. day to recover. I thought from that's the what it was. Part of. And so, given the chance to save some colleagues locker. to write at least some mm, of their wrongs, crazy. they didn't hesitate. They headed straight for Playtime Co. But why should we care? Why is knowing who we play as actually important to the lore of this game? Besides, you know, being a fun piece of trivia that we can go, I solved the lore. Well, for that, we have to stop looking at our guide throughout the book and instead look at our guide throughout there the There we go. Poppy. Yes. Poppy has been helping midway us throughout through, this more than midway chapter. through. And yeah. she's made it very clear that she wants the prototype, the big bad of the series, dead. Yep. Prototype has to die. For this. For everything. For everything. That oh, is something I think we can all get behind. Yep. And at the very end of the chapter, we end up going down an elevator alongside her after yes. she reveals the truth about our fellow employees. Naturally, because of these actions, we as an audience have started to associate the idea of Poppy prototype the, bad, as a guide. Poppy yeah. good. Right. However, there is something we need to remember. It's been a long time since chapter one first released. Okay. Two and a half years, in fact. And given we've only had two chapters since then, it could be easy to forget certain details along forget. the way. One of those details comes from that very first chapter what? that poppy we let her out is not to be trusted why why would it i know i what just do you mean? did a poppy theory about not trusting a friendly character but honestly hear me out surrounding okay. her room alongside the giant flower and hanging toys are messages to us warning us to yeah, turn that... around and go back we see the same but... messages inside the tunnel during the that... chase sequence but there are a few that i initially didn't see mainly because i was trying Running. not to die but thankfully but... reddit user 123 uh f this s was <laughs> Okay. Enough to post the actual texture files, and in ah. it we find some crucial evidence. Stay yeah, but, away from her. Yeah, Don't let her out. Couldn't that be Leave from the prototype? And the prototype can't, can't be trusted, trust so therefore we can trust her. Shut case i don't know uh -huh. what i see what yeah, you did there that one yeah, was bad. That was but if you think about it ever since that moment oh, she, she looks... has continued to be untrustworthy Whoa. in chapter two she tells us she's gonna help us escape there's a train station nearby yes that's the very beginning of chapter two i did not know you could do that only to change the tracks at the last minute so we can help yeah her but with that's her to help her with her mission i mean it's like you. perfect to lose she, she needs help i can't let you leave 
in chapter like, three, she lies it's advancing her agenda. Again, when we first meet her, she tells could us. Could be for good, though. Let me help you kill him. Yeah, Let see? Let me help you save everyone. But when we get to the end of the chapter, she no. tells us something different. Does she? You deserve to have the truth. No, she said save everyone. Because of your co-workers. Yeah. You know what happened. And why? This is your answer. Poppy but knew the truth about what happened, but, she but didn't, didn't admit it right at the start. She because didn't if she did, we say likely we didn't, wouldn't have uh, helped her. By the time you get to me. the end, you've forgotten what she said all those hours Idiot. ago. Oh, Poppy's being honest with us. She must be trustworthy. But no, she's just what? manipulating hey, don't yell at her. once again. But why is she doing it? Because well, she wants a prototype dead. Poppy was created using the adopted daughter of Elliot Ludwig, okay. the founder of Playtime Co. Sure. Given all the adoption initiatives around the facility yeah. and that Elliot was was considered a family man at heart, it mm -hmm. would make sense that he would have adopted a daughter oh. of his own. But then there was a tragic death in the family in the 1960s, and it wasn't his wife because she was out of the picture, divorcing him in the 1930s, Dang. which left only his daughter to be the one brought back to life as a poppy doll. Now, thanks to the orientation notebook, it seems like we were on the right track. PW oh, talks okay. about how toys at the factory yeah, were being created obviously. biologically for a long time, yeah. even before the Bigger Bodies initiative. And if you did maintenance on a poppy doll, she break because they all used biological parts That's like disgusting. we saw in that original VHS tape. But they I also remember implied that. that there was one poppy that was special. One that was locked inside a glass case in what looked like an ordinary family home. A family home that had a direct line to Elliot's office so he could uh -huh. quote, visit her. In another part of the book, it once again brings up Elliot's divorce. How it happened because he devoted all of his time to his uh, work. And so yep. quote, it always felt like he wanted to have a family within the factory so his whole life could be here. Elliot wouldn't huh. want to lose his daughter. By of using course. the technology they'd already been using to make poppy dolls, he was able yeah. to save her oh my and God, turn she... her into the special Why you make her look so evil? Today. I don't think he she put is. Her inside a glass case to keep her safe and would visit her inside their family home. Which means, just like all the orphans that would come after her, she went through all that pain and suffering to be turned into a toy. Yeah. Sure, she was dead when the process started, but Such just like hurt. we saw with the rats in the poppy gel, they oh. all have to be resuscitated at yep. some point. And who that could imagine? Hurt. Imagine the kind of pain you'd be in, having your eyes, nervous system, digestive tract all shoved That's into gross. a tiny doll-like figure. It would be a hugely traumatic ordeal, and so I'm yeah. not sure she'd be a fan of anyone doing this to anyone else, especially right. orphans, which but, sounds an awful lot yeah. like another character we know. Amongst all those- So like, that's the thing though, right? She doesn't want it to happen to anyone else, including us, because that's what the prototype basically wants to do to us. He wants to dismantle us and make us a part of him, just like he does with all the other toys who have uh, been converted. So she's trying to help us get through that, right? Like, I, I trust, you guys trust her, right? I trust Four -way her. messages about not trusting Poppy in chapter one. There's one message I've not mentioned. She's oh. on their side. When we receive those warnings, there is only Wait. one side that isn't our own going Who's on. Side? The side of another creature who was forced to become a monster. The side of the one who was angered by the truth. But she's the no. The side of the prototype. No. One zero zero that would be she's Both on Poppy his side. And the prototype have right? been forced to suffer through this horrific conversion process. Both of them know True, the pain that goes with it. But wouldn't they, the, the prototype? You could say their yeah, side as in, in not on the side of mine. Clues have been right in front of us the whole time. But she needs you. We need you. Yeah. You yeah. are our mission. Yep. We established okay, last Ollie. time that Ollie, the kid that talks to us in that clip, isn't oh, yeah. actually a kid, but right. the prototype mimicking the voice of a child. In that <laughs> video, I pointed <laughs> out that <laughs> any child that was around during the Hour of Joy wouldn't still be a child by this point in the timeline, because 10 years have passed since that fateful day. Poppy okay, knew about I the Hour of Joy. I think I missed that video. She tells us about it at remember the end that. of the chapter. So she'd have no reason to believe that Ollie That's was a, a real really child good in point. the facility, unless she's trying to convince us that he is. All that talk about hating the prototype and wanting to kill him, it's all just an act to get us to trust Poppy and her new friend, to follow their instructions as we explore the facility to what so end? that they could enact their revenge. But what does that have to do with our They could just kill us now! If they wanted revenge, why not invite Leaf Pierre? He's still around and kicking and definitely wasn't a wow, good guy. Instead, evil. we were the one who received the note at the start of oh, this. Why? Disappeared. Well, it comes back to look. what I was saying at the start of this episode. We aren't just anyone. We are PW, okay. a biologist that yeah. Worked on the Can't experiments be. of Playtime Co. And that is what the prototype needs. We feel pretty we confident were mean to him in that, that video. Remember, if that was us. making a new body for himself down in the basement. We saw the shrine in chapter three that mimicked this idea. And of course, there's Mummy's iconic. Oh, line. yeah, we know. We know. He'll make me a part of him. Yeah. He'll make me part of him.
In the orientation God, notebook, we learned that not every experiment was completely successful. Bobby Bearhug Obviously. seems to be missing the ability to hear, speak, and stand stably. In chapter oh, three, really? Pierre comments about how Catnap's voice isn't working properly. Is his uh, voice right. really still broken? Yeah. And while Huggy is obedient, he too is unable to speak. Even 1006 isn't perfect. He's copying other voices to form sentences. Yeah, Each but that's just an AI learning. Flaws, except, of course, for Poppy. Poppy. She is perfect. She can see, speak, hear, move. She is the blueprint. So I wonder whether 1006's goal here isn't just to create a bigger body, but to create the perfect body. Whoa, combining body all of the elements that worked from each of the toys. And then, Ugh. once he's perfect, he can then truly us? enact his and Poppy's revenge. Which or maybe it's like Rye Toast suggested in their reaction to my first theory. Instead of 1006 trying to create the perfect toy body, they're trying to create a new organic body out of all the biological parts from within each of the toys uh -oh. in order to go back to living a normal life. That Maybe Poppy the will get a new body too. I've However, whichever seen. option is correct, the one thing I never stopped to consider until now was whether uh -huh. 1006 would be physically able to make themselves a new body. We know they're particularly good with technology, able yeah. to turn an and alarm clock into a laser pointer to disable the security cameras. But as we've mentioned multiple times, the toys he's adding to himself aren't mechanical, they're biological. Playtime Co. had to hire by Biologists to make their experiments work. But couldn't not he learn just biology? Toy makers. So if 1006 was trying to make themselves a new body using the parts of these deceased toys, he'd likely need the help of someone with those specific skills. But someone we haven't done like anything us. like someone that. Someone who worked on these I know what you're alluding to, but we haven't done- In order done... that they could create the perfect <laughs> bodies. Given this game has seen success going in a darker direction, and the yeah. area we enter at the end of chapter three being known in the game files as the prison, I wouldn't be yeah. surprised if throughout chapter four, we are going to see more characters like Dog Day, missing limbs, stuffed into cages, and surrounded by the pure carnage of 1006's attempts to create this perfect body, only for him to realize that he can't do it alone. But now, his good and faithful servant Poppy has led us right to him. And despite well, going they haven't into learned anything chapter, from us, and we're killing we off. can't trust anyone, there's nothing uh... we're going to be able to do to stop it. Ollie and Poppy have us right where they want us, and all we can do is wait and see what last minute out the developer are going to give us to escape their horrible schemes. But hey, that's just a theory. A game theory! So, I just like, when he was putting that together at the end, I can kind of see a little bit of it because, like, while we haven't done any experiments or anything, uh, the prototype may know exactly what it needs, like, for example, um, parts of Huggy Wuggy parts of mommy long legs and he's unable to kill them uh, just like catnap especially because he needs the devotion of all of the other experiments in the uh, in the factory that we've yet to see or meet so they use us to kill the one that he needs the part from and then the prototype comes and collects it i mean technically he he was the one who killed catnap uh but we stunned catnap to that point and, and brought him to a state where the prototype could kill him so we are kind of doing his work for him if that is what he is doing but i really hope that we're not creating some monstrosity that's going to be unleashed out of the factory and into the world thinking this whole time that we were on the good side <laughs>